Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Avinash and in this video we are going to discuss about AWS Cloud9. So actually I am going to explain about AWS CDK as well. So this CDK concept right I have seen uh, uh, multiple times in recent certification exams. So it's um, good to know what exactly the CDK is. So as part of that CDK, Ceres uh, first let's launch this uh, AWS Cloud9. So basically what exactly this Cloud9 is, it's a Cloud IDE. So generally IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. So in simple, it's a place where developers can write their code they can run that code and they can also debug their code. And these all things happen within a browser itself. So this Cloud9 is allowing us to create a browser within this IDE. We can start programming uh, within this browser itself. So basically this uh, Cloud9 has uh, tooling uh, options for 40 plus programming languages, some pre-packaged uh, uh, toolings available. And uh, it's not going to take much time to create this IDE. So you can simply launch and you can start working. And primarily, whoever want to work on this uh, serverless applications, so the required uh, node versions and everything, we are going to come um, uh, defaultly with these IDEs. So you can use an existing EC2 instance or you can launch an EC2 instance for this Cloud9 IDE. So what are all the languages it is going to support? So basically, this uh, is the Cloud9 uh, AWS uh, documentation. So these are all the languages it supports. C, CPP, Go language, HTML, Java, JavaScript, PHP. So almost all uh, like, you know, uh, famous programming language this supports. Right. Based on the OS also, some language versions we are going to get as a default option. Okay, this is the architecture of this cloud uh, 9. So first, uh, whenever you are creating an IDE, what happened in backend and EC2 instance are going to create. So we are going to use that EC2 instance and whatever the code you are going to write, it actually stores in uh, AWS code commit repository. All right, so let's create this cloud 9, um, a cloud IDE now. So firstly, click on create environment. So then it is asking for the name. Okay, I'm going to call this as a my first IDE. So description, demo IDE for YT. And uh, are you going to launch a new EC2 instance for this or you want to use an existing compute? If you want to use an existing compute, you have to give that uh, username, you have to give the port number, you have to give a host name or IP address of that machine. So you can give some additional uh, information like environment path and path to Node.js binaries also. You have to give. So I'm going to choose this new EC2 instance and again what configuration you want to choose. So if you want to go with the T2 micro, you want to be under free tier eligibility. So you can choose this. But I personally experienced like, you know, some issues with this T2 micro. So the memory or the RAM is not sufficient whenever we are synthesizing our code. You will come, we will discuss that later. So for this demo, we are good with this T2 micro. Right. So if you want to like, you know, um, develop a small web project or like, you know, uh, I personally recommend you to go with the higher configurations. So you will have enough resources to like, you know, develop your application without any difficulties. And um, yeah, again, if you don't want to spend any money, if you want to be within free tier limitation, go and select T2 micro. And if you want to pick any other uh, configuration, you can go here and you can choose uh, like, you know, wide varieties of configuration available here. And I'm going with T2 micro for this specific uh, demo purpose. And platform, I'm going to choose Amazon Linux 2023. And here we have a good option. If you're not working on this IDE, 
so you might get a doubt okay we are going to launch an ec2 instance so are we going to get charged for that ec2 instance absolutely yes you will be charged for this selected configuration only that's the first thing second thing so we are going to work on this ide only for some duration right we are not going to work on this ide 24 by 7 so are we going to get charged for the 24 by 7 so it depends on this uh, timeout setting you are going to configure okay so what aws is going to do aws is going to auto hibernate this okay that will help us to save some cost see if you are not working if there is no input okay no user input in 30 minutes aws will hibernate that ec2 instance so you can adjust this so if you are not um, working on this ide for at least one hour so then aws is going to hibernate it so if you want to give custom also you can give custom minutes for example i want to give custom 15 minutes if i am not giving input any input for 15 minutes within this uh, ide cloud 9 aws is going to hibernate that instance when i uh, click on that it automatically like you know start work on that so that uh, we can configure here we are good with the 30 minutes uh, whenever we are launching and how you are going to access this environment we have multiple options we can use uh, ssm option or we can use uh, ssh option so whenever you are taking this ssm right so there is an advantage whenever you are using systems manager to connect to your ec2 instance you no need to open any port okay for example if it is a linux machine you have to open port number 22 right but if you are using ssm you no need to open port number 22 in your inbound rules and if you want to directly access via ssh yeah you can select this secure ssh right so but it opens the inbound ports and also here vpc settings which vpc you want to choose right to run this compute what subnet you want to pick so based on the configuration we selected here t2 micro actually it's not available in uh, 1c i am in mumbai region it's not available in 1c we can choose ap south 1a or 1b here right or you can simply give no preference aws is going to pick one now what aws will do aws is going to create a service link role for us okay then click on create so before clicking on create i just want to show you in mumbai region i don't have any running or stopped ec2 instances here when we click on this create now ide creation is started So then uh, here you can observe an EC2 instance creation started here, T2 micro. And the good thing is, okay, if you want to access any AWS resources from this IDE, for example, I want to access S3 buckets, right? Or um, I want to run some CLI commands from this IDE also. We can do that. So for that simply, you go to this EC2 instance, you go to actions and security so once it is ready we'll observe that okay it's up and running now go to actions security modify iam role you can choose a role here for example if i am giving s3 full access role now from this ide i can access my s3 resources without configuring any access key and secret access key the attached role will be used by this ide to access all right so the instance is up and running so that means our ide also ready you can see this here status is ready lifecycle status is created okay so now how to open that ide so you can simply click on this open in cloud 9 okay and we do have an option to share uh, environments also we can create an environment and we can share that as well okay so let's open this cloud 9 and you can see here this is the cloud 9 ide so if i want to create any file i can give a uh, right click here 
right i can rename or i can even copy paste from my local laptop so this is our ide and now here you can see some sample files we got it here and uh, these are out of memory logs we can find and some project settings and tasks everything you can observe here right so now you can connect to this terminal or you can open terminal here as well new terminal now you can start working from here all right yeah so how we can initialize the project and everything we can observe uh, in next video if you want to uh, upload your project here if you have any file in your uh, local laptop you want to get that file and you want to work on that file so you can uh, use this uh, upload option or download option right you can create a new file you can give the file name or we should have this upload option as well yeah when you go to files you can see this upload local files so you can drag and drop or you can go to your desktop and you can select your uh, uh, required file so that file is here so that you can simply give a double click and you can uh, start working on that uh, file all right and not only that this cloud 9 has features like uh, you know aws has a service called code whisperer yeah this amazon q um, is now included with this code whisperer also so this code whisperer actually right so basically this is a artificial intelligent uh, coding assistant so it's actually part of amazon q that's generative ai aws generative ai service so this code whisperer right so it is uh, uh, having capability to provide the suggestions uh, automatically so whenever you click on this code whisperer it will show you whether the current status is uh, running or it's passed when you click on this it's going to change the status to passed and when you click on this again code whisperer it is going to give like you know currently it is running so this code whisperer whenever we are starting uh, writing any code right so it is going to show us the suggestions right so yeah that is um, what exactly this cloud 9 ide is and if you are not giving input any input here this instance is going to hibernate state so it automatically saves some uh, cost and this id also has a option to like you know run aws cli commands also so what we need to do we have to go to this ide and you can simply open a new terminal and you can start executing aws cli commands for some automations for that what we need to do we have to attach the appropriate role to this ec2 instance so then you need to do one more thing so generally this cloud 9 is going to use aws temporary security tokens so if you want to like you know use the role you go to settings and then go to aws settings scroll down and click on aws settings and you see this aws main is temporary credentials just uncheck and automatically role is going to be uh, used by this cloud 9 so you can run commands like a aws space s3 ls so it is going to show you all your s3 buckets and all other resources here all right so that is all about this ide and we are going to use this ide for our coming cdk um, videos as well so i hope you found this video helpful and um, that's it for this video See you again in next video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys.